one. Hello, YouTube. It's me, your old pal, Hyper Viper. Woo, 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 woo. One. Hello, I'm here. Two. <coughs> celebrate, celebrate. Joakim and his one year in the VC. He is a very influential dude. He's got the records, man. His records go all the way back and forth. There's so many records. I could spend hours there listening to the records because I never heard of any of them. Well, I've heard of, of some of them. But thanks. Keep showing them, bud, because I want to know and I want to see. And then there's Bon Scott. He's ready. Right, buddy? Okay. Anyway, so let's go. One year in the VC. Congratulations. You inspired me to come back because your videos are awesome. So, look at this guy. He wants to be the star. Okay, let's go. He's saying celebrate too. Wag your tail, bud. Okay, let's go. The first rule is no rules. Okay. I was going to... I had Commando queued up to play that. To But I can't even understand what he says. He, something love for Germany. I listened to it like four times just now. But... And it doesn't have the lyrics. But this one does. My copy of this. Desert Island Picks, I suppose. When you can... T I mean, everybody's in this. This. Gotta have five records. I can only have one, five. This is going. This one, I... I, I, I mean, Leave Home. I said it earlier that I it might be my favorite, but I don't know. Man. It's this one. This is the first one. Come on. Old Dittmer's copy I got here. Old Dittmer. Thanks, Dittmer. Glad you don't like this anymore. We're dying, man. This is old. Old as dirt. Anyway, let's go. That's one record. It's obvious. Two. 2000s, whatever. I saw these. I had the date written down. I said it the other day. Uh, the Toy Dolls. And then I got uh, saw them live. And uh, mind-blowing. My... my uh, Outlook on life changed. I was a little bored with punk rock, and I, you know, I wasn't listening to other stuff, and I, uh, you know, but then I saw these guys. Somebody's like, you like them, and I was like, okay. So I went, boy, did I ever. I got this CD, and I listened to it about mm, four and a half million times, and I love it, and then I finally got it on vinyl. And it has lots of songs, and they're silly, and they're about, and, and uh, this guy's got a cartoon voice, and uh, he, uh, but, um, so, whatever. It, it, songs about, these ones are all about people. These are all songs about, oh, this has PC Stoker on it, though. He's a coppa. A coppa! Okay, no more football in the street. Then, I heard that band, and there was no other band, so I was like, I'm a mono Mono record or you know band like in person until I discovered this record and I listened to this record maybe let's see eight million times um so many times that uh, when somebody was like finally like they have another record you know and I was like what <laughs> yeah uh, yeah anyway I was talking to the the kid the kid about this and. He also, very influential band, The Briefs, started looking at other bands, oh boy. And then, okay, five records, why am I going, I gotta go faster, so where am I at, the, that's five, that was only three, it's, this is really hard. Okay, so, I had to be truthful about uh, what I would want to listen to, and it would be this, Alkaline Trio, oh, this one I think is their best one. And maybe I'll catch fire. And I, I like them. I like them a lot. Then, boy, this was the hardest one. I almost picked the CD because it has more songs. A CD, more Screeching Weasel songs. Because I've already thought about this Desert Island band. This is the band right here. This is the band's catalog. They got a lot of albums. Yeah, sure. But even on these albums, great songs. So good. Love them so, so much. What? There's the toy dolls. That's how influential that one is. And then we got this one over here. And boy, 
I at one time said, I would never listen to them. I hate them. <laughs> and then I forgot. And then I, w I should say that uh, no effects is, um, what's a, the one, whatever, one, um, the Heavy Petting Zoo. I got that, and that kind of opened my eyes to uh, pop punk. So and that was pretty influential, but not good enough. I don't want to listen to it. I don't wanna, I'm not bringing it. I bring this. Over and over again. I'd listen to this. Let's go. Okay. Uh, horror or sci-fi. I am actually uh, just as you. I like books also. And I've been waiting for somebody to... Hey, talk about books. Okay. Here we go. I got this out of Free Pile. It's called Artemis by that guy, Andy Weir. And it's about this girl who lives on the moon. Whoa, dude. But the moon is like a colony, and she 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 moved there, and but she can't go back to Earth because the gravity's different, and she's like a petty criminal. She gets involved in this like sting, and um, it's really good. It's like you know, it's not really about sci-fi. I mean, there's lots of sci-fi. It's, you know, it's about sci-fi, but it's also like a kind of a mystery, and uh, it's I'm not like super big into sci-fi, but this book is great. And, uh, uh, yeah. If somebody wants it when I'm done with it, I don't hold on to books. Well, yeah, I do, because what, what we got now? What are we doing? The, I, I have all the stuff. It's right here. But I don't have it organized. And I think comic. No, 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 don't. Not me. So, this is what I'd take instead of comic book. <laughs> hours of fun you can just make up a real song about your dog and i do every day in fact but all right um not today i lied um graphic novel i also i tried to talk about this before powell's bookstore city of books it's a graphic novel about a punk rock band that like uh time travels or something like she's uh, the it, it, it's weird but it's really cool and um I, I haven't even really got it all the way into it i just started because i'm reading artemis first and then i'm gonna read uh well i'm reading this as i go along with stuff but uh yeah it's really cool uh nate powell it just came out it's about punk rock and then it changes see when they go they fall through, and then I think they, like, time travels to different, like, now in the 90s and the 70s or something. I don't know where they fall. They just fell through for the first time. She has fallen. She's from the set, whatever. It's a sci-fi kind of whatever, but it's about punk rock, and it's about the DIY scene, and, um whatever uh, yeah it's really good it's cool this is really cool and i got a graphic novel and now i can talk about it because i don't have any comics i don't like comics but that graphic novel punk rock's cool so whatever let's move on book let's talk about the b-i-b-l-e <laughs> i've been waiting to talk about this too <laughs> welcome into your house uh this I got this when I, I went there. I went to Powell's for this because they had it. I went to a different Powell's and they didn't have it. And I, look, I had to start it and because it's so good. This is the third time I've read this. It's super funny. It's about this guy in high school and he is like super dork and he's into like, the one thing I have to say that he's in, he he's into like whatever, him and his buddy are into their bands, but they're like nobody likes them. There, you know, they get picked on all the time and stuff. But anyway, uh, he he really likes cream, and uh, he talks, he raves about Disraeli gears, and I bought that because of this. I don't like it that much, but maybe it's because he's a guitar. He's like really into guitar, so maybe that was why. But whatever. I mean, they're supposed to be awesome, but I don't like them. But anyway, uh, this is great. He hates. As you know, this is the Catcher in the Rye. It's about 
the catcher in their eye has something to do with it. it has a mystery it's about this kid in high school and he says some super funny it is so funny you laugh out loud i've read this is the third time I, I never read books again like i said i get rid of them this one i had to buy it again this is going to be the second time i guess but i've read it 33 times i've loaned it to somebody they didn't give it back Jeez, this is a great book. Please, uh, if anybody's read it, let me know because I want everyone to read this. You should. It, it's great. The guy from, um, and then there's a part two about it too, which I'll tell you about it when I get done with this again and I read that one. Whatever. Greatest book. I love this book. Everyone should read it. You read it or not, or whatever. You don't like reading that much? Read this. You're going to be laughing. It's so funny. Please do. Everybody. Okay. Picture book. This. Uh, One Monster After Another by Mercer Mayer. This. I got this. This is from 1977, dude. <laughs> got this from Grandma and Grandpa on 1977. And my favorite guy. I want to get a tattoo. I don't have it yet, but I'm is this guy he's so cool he's on the cover too he's the he's on the third page mm. it's the stamp collect no it's, he stole the let it's about a letter that gets to but he's the what is he it says right there the letter eating bombadan Bomb band that. Whatever. Real cool pictures in here. Here, I'll just show you another one. Just a random one. Yeah, not that one. That one's cool, though. He, this is where they suck. Sucks up the water and the ocean, and there's the letter right there. Okay. Cool book. Mercer Mayer does, uh, or whatever. He does a lot of cool books, but this one is, uh, he does some other book that's really cool. Still talking. Okay, keep going. Okay, uh, picture book. I was gonna have I am a bunny because I am I am a parent and I read that that is a really great book too. So any parents out there, they know about I'm a bunny. I hope, or if you have a kid or somebody you know is getting a kid, give them that book. They'll like it. It's so cute. Um. Okay, movie. Oh. VHS. I don't have any VHS, but I do. And since you let us have five <laughs> uh, records, I bought five. Road Warrior, best movie watched a million times as a kid. Oh, my buddy's dad worked at the video store, and we would watch it over and over every afternoon after school or during the summer and ride a bikes and be the Road Warrior, play the Road Warrior. It was great. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I got this copy so I could watch it with my son. Because we watched it when he was younger. And he was like, uh... Well, he might have been a little young. Because there's some stuff in there that happens. <laughs> May have traumatized him a little bit. But that's okay. That's right. Builds character. <laughs> got this one. Yeah, yeah, come on. Everybody knows that. Punk rock horror movie. First one. Uh, it's in Kansas. Did you know that? No. You didn't. Yeah, you might have. Billy, sweet Billy boy. <laughs> so many giggles. Oh, boy. Love that one. And I can't show that one. I mean, there's five. Oops. A bonus, right? That was one, two. One, two, three, four. This is five here. You gotta have this. Well, okay, so this is the bonus, the jerk. But, of m movies I would want to watch over and over again. I had a, a few, and there's a, some other punk rock ones, and I, I'd watch this again. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, say anything you've seen, that's a great movie. Okay, um, uh, what are we doing? Tape. I was going to talk about the Dead Milkman, but I don't have that tape anymore. It was my ex's. And it's still at her house, I think, because I'm like that. And I guess I left it. I should have just taken it. Anyway, she probably doesn't know where it is or whatever. This is the treatment from Eugene, Oregon. And uh, this is my buddy. 
And he's probably saying, body by ramen, body by ramen. Because <laughs> he said that a lot. And he ate a lot of ramen. And there's... They were like a ska band uh, after the this is 90s Operation IV was cool and there's me, one of those guys. I'm the drinking the beer in the front, I think, and then they're passed out also right there. <laughs> there's looking at the overview. There's my buddy. He was from Corvallis when he moved to Eugene. Anyway, there there he is right there. And then these guys were from the coast, and they moved to Egypt. And I think some of them... Well, yeah, they all live here. I, I've seen not all of them. One of them lives in New York. One of the, the bass players for the treatment lives in New York City, New York. And he may watch this one. Well, I was in that band. Hey, Rob. All right, and the rest of the treatment... And then I thought I'd a bonus tape because I was I was like oh I was looking up through my other tapes and then this is the Straight Edge band from Corvallis. Um, my buddies were the half of it were or the bass player for my band who basically the he made all the songs and he made it awesome. And this is his other band. Uh, they were Straight Edge, not like militant Straight Edge. It's not. The music doesn't have anything to do with that. It's more like horror. I don't even remember what the music is. I haven't listened to it since the 90s, but... Okay. That was tapes. And I guess I'm done. Because I forgot a t-shirt. And... Uh, here. I brought this stuff. Congratulations! You have an awesome channel. Keep making videos. And, uh, yeah... Uh, that's it. I want to say, uh, to quote, <laughs> no effects. He's even more punk than me. Goody, goody, goo, goo. Bye bye for now. I'm Hopper Viper.